Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. We're going to do a little craft with me or project today out of uh, legal sized um, envelopes. I think this is kind of legal. Actually, I think this is a little longer. Um, this actually is legal size. So you can, any narrow, um, long, you know, envelope that you have. And I used these. I actually had these for some cards I had made a while ago. So, um, or you can just use your junk mail, you know, the these legal size envelopes. And uh, either a book, old book pages, okay? <clears throat> these are vintage book pages, uh, or a napkin, and I'll show you what, I, it, what I'm getting at in a minute, or some tissue paper. Now, let me show you what I did. Um, I made these cute little flip-up books. Now, this one has been done out of the um, book pages, and uh, we might do that today. We might do one with the book pages. And you can see there's a little pocket slit that I put in the front and in the back where you can slip in a, um, a, a tag or something like that. And I've actually stitched in some paper, and the spine of the book is at the top. Um, this one, as you can see, I did some um, decorating on the front. And I have a, a tie at the bottom, and these actually just flip up this way. And this is the envelope this way, and it has been sealed. So we're using it, the envelope is the cover, of the flip-up cover, but we actually cut um, pockets in the one side of the envelope. And then in it is just uh, a variety of papers. So it's a nice way, and then I also did a pocket on the back inside cover, and this one's a fabric. And now these images I got, um, and I'm going to put a link below on oh, T, shoot, I'm going to have to put a link. And these were actually free that she puts on her site. I've actually ordered a couple times. She has an Etsy shop, but she has a Facebook page, and all three of these actually were free images um, on her Facebook page. So I'm going to link that. So this one I did out of the book, out of the, uh, just pieces of book page. And I'm going to, I'll probably do that today. This one I actually did out of a napkin. And instead of, uh, doing a pamphlet stitch at the top, I took it to the machine and sewed it. And this is a, just a, uh, decoupage napkin. Uh, on here and I did the same thing but I did completely different trims and everything as you can see in this one I did a little uh, seam binding at the bottom there's a couple of little um, flowers and two tags this one I sewed around this was another one of the images that were free it was free on her site and here's another one and I thought that was very generous of her to put those on there like that and I just put a little word inspire uh, and as you can see the inside it makes a nice um, cover when you decoupage it so this just flips up and I thought these would be cute just to pop into some happy mail or into your purse for making notes and it's a you know flipping up is something a little different so what I did here is this one is ready to go. And this has been decoupaged with this tissue paper. And uh, it's a vintage, and I make bags out of this tissue paper, and I make 
envelopes out of it. I just layer it together and it's all a vintage advertisement. Um, vintage av advertising. Let me just put that this way so you, I can stay in frame because we're gonna we're gonna do a little crafting today. So this one is ready for me to put the pockets in and um, you can see I came in and I did the tissue paper so it would I didn't just lay it down let me show you because we're gonna actually do the book pages today and not the tissue paper so if you have printed tissue paper just so I can show you you don't want to here let's say this is your envelope Okay, you don't want to just put it right down like this because when you flip it, you see the back side will be upside down. So now if you if you don't have print on your tissue paper like that and it's just like a pattern or something, that would be different. So what I did is I um, I mod podge the tissue paper one way so it would be you know reading the right way and f went right around the back and over the flap because after I cut the pocket in I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that then um okay so this would be sealed and we're gonna we're gonna do that then I came around and I put the tissue paper the right way on this side so both ways this could be the front or that could be the front but that none of them will be upside down if you know what I'm saying so let me put that aside and we're gonna go ahead and we're not this is so pretty I did pick this out in case I decided to decoupage a um, the napkin isn't that beautiful because actually this would be this would you could just do the whole napkin because there you'll have your image of the birds going the right way on both sides so i'm going to put that aside because i'm probably going to make another one but we're going to do the book pages today because i know everybody has extra book pages uh, that they want to get rid of so i'm going to show you how simple it is to get this this look right here out of your book pages okay so we're just going to start and I'm using Mod Podge you can use uh, just PVA glue with water uh, make your own um, Mod Podge this is a matte I also you could also use a glue stick for your book pages and then just come in with the Mod Podge on the top. So I could, and I've got some, these are, I try to find book pages that are similar in thickness. Oh dear. Lucille, no Lucille. Our sprinkler system is gone. I think they're testing, but hey, hey guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, they're testing the sprinkler systems today. Um, and this one, so I try to find them of similar thickness. And these are really old, and I like them. They're kind of thick. and uh, But they're not in the best shape, so I would not use these inside, you know, like if I'm making a journal, because this, like, these are kind of crumbling, see? But they work fine for decoupage. And this is like the mid-1800s, this book. And I, I used the cover and made an altar book with that one. I've got some old music paper here as well. So uh, we're simply, I'm going to unfold the um, flap like this. You could come in and I just start ripping, ripping my papers and um there's no rhyme or reason to this it's kind of it goes best if you don't you don't um 
really, you know, think overthink it as with collaging, the same thing. I could just come in and use this and then later on come in and use the Mod Podge. But really what I like to do is I just like to use the Mod Podge on both the top and the bottom. I find it's easiest and it goes quickest. Okay, so dry my brush. I've got my water on here so I don't ruin the brush because I have a tendency to do that. And I'm just going to just slop some glue right on here and just start putting down just ripping just putting and now you could come in if you wanted some extra ink around the corners here and you could you could do that uh, right here you could just come in and do some inking but I'm not I'm not gonna do that right now I'm not gonna take the time to do that because I can get enough ink on here I like to see now I've got, this is a little bit darker, so this paper. So just slop her down and then we'll come in afterwards and go right over the top. And, and you know what, if you put a light you know a light coat over the top right now it will still take some ink um or you don't put any if you want to make sure that you can do you know ink it good So I'm not gonna do the whole thing because we're gonna probably work with the one that I've already got done, but I just wanted to give you an idea of really, you know, just use your book pages and how easy it is. And then you get a nice, um, oh, a nice, um, a nice heavy cover. Trying to stay in frame. A little bit too much glue there. so forth I just do this the top side here and um, what you would do whoops what you would do is you would do uh, both let me flip it over so I can show you let me stick this in here I would continue on till this was covered let me just grab a wipe to just wipe down my mat real quick. And the tissue paper is even goes faster, but uh, if you want to use up your book pages, you know, this is, so you would, you're going to do this, the flap obviously, and then you would flip it over and just go ahead and do the, the strip here because this is going to be folded over and glued down eventually. So I'm just going to put this aside and we are going to move on with the one that I have finished with the tissue paper to show you how 
I did the pockets. Oops, let me put this away. And I'll come back and finish that other one and then um, I'll take pictures of the ones I've finished or do a final little flip through or something, I don't know. Or a little video or something. All right, let me dry this all. Actually, I'm gonna move this for a minute. Now, you gotta be careful with this because you're gonna use a, an X-Acto knife to get your, and I use a piece of cardboard now what i did let me tell you the size of my envelope real quick i think it's a little longer than a regular whoops i can't use that one i can't see it it's a little longer than a regular um yeah this is nine nine and a quarter by four and one tenth yeah wait yeah four and two wait yeah a little over four it wasn't quite one okay so um i'm going to let me get my little tiny ruler i like to use this one this is where the fold will be right here i just folded it in half because it'll be like this. Let me just get a good, let me just use my bone folder. And, um, I, yeah, I measured down two and a quarter inches, two and a quarter inches, and that's where I'm gonna put my pocket and I'm just going to draw a line. I can kind of follow this line, otherwise I would use this graph. And I'm starting at one half, whoops, one half inch. And I'll go to one half inch in the other way. So the slit is going to be in one half inch on each side. Now, I'm going to take this piece of cardboard so I don't cut through this part, and I'm just simply going to slip the piece of cardboard in here. Find my line. I'm going to use my little ruler, and I'm just going to cut along that slit. Make sure I don't go all the way through the bottom. Actually, I didn't go, I didn't quite go long far enough. Okay, and then I'm just going to go right below it, line up my ruler, because I just want to just take out an, a little piece. So then now I have, let's see if I can get this little piece out, this little piece. So it's going to, oops, a little piece there. That's all right. Take my car cardboard out, it's sticking, and I have this little slot right here. Okay, so let me see if that will, f yep, just like that. Okay, for, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So let me get the cardboard back in. And I'm gonna find the, the, you know, the, the fold. 
and I'm coming down two and a quarter. I mean, you can kind of put your, you can kind of put, yeah, sorry. Ricky, Ricky, no. Oh, goodness. Let's find my line again. So I'm going from one half inch. Okay. And I have to kind of almost get up on this. Smart to use the roller and I'm just going to go right under it just to get just a little sliver out be careful with your craft knife guys there the sliver was a, okay. See, so I have a, this one's a little bit better, where I have a little bit more of a, a little more of a slot there. So now we're going to seal it. Okay, we can seal it. Let me get my craft mat back. Put this away. bone holder back and get my glue and then from here it's just a matter of decorating and then sewing in so I'm just going to glue the flap and you'll see the ink or the the um, ink the sticky part of the envelope right there and I'm not going to go right to it because I want to make sure I don't seal I just want to seal the top part of the flap. I don't want it, um, you know, sealing past that. I have to use the glue because there's this, now that I've flipped the, um, the, the, um, Oh, had the Mod Podge in there, it's, it's, you know, I have to put the glue on it. All right. Just want to make sure that's there. Okay, so now we have our little flippy journal cover, notebook cover. And we can go ahead and decorate it. So what I was thinking is, um... I think I might do a little trim at the bottom. Let me see. Let me get some of my trim out. Lace. A little crocheted lace. Because this is kind of vintage-y. So I could do maybe... Um, let me see. I have this. And this. what I actually used on the other one. Yeah, I have enough of this. So I'm just going to use this. Get my scissors out. Measure my lace. I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue in here because it looks like my, um, I will probably come and sew this after, so that's okay. Um, I sewed this and we'll put, we'll put a, a, uh, one of these, a, um, fabric tie or, or some seam binding. I want to actually dirty up this lace a little bit. It's not quite 
grungy enough because this is so antique looking. I mean, those advertisements are... That's better. Oh, Lucy. I guess this is the wrong time of day for me to do videos. It's lighter than I normally do them. I usually do the videos in the morning and I had to clean in here first because I had to get, I had to clean my desk so I could work at it. So I got a late start. Do some on this side too, both sides. And um, I think we will do um, a little uh, journal prompt or a little, a little word here. Okay, I have... that one let me see what else i have i made these the other day i might have to just make another one that's too long i might not have a one short enough this is inspire i like that inspire I think we'll use that one, but I want to, I want to, um, well, now that I'm fucking, out, I just don't know if I want to cover. That's okay. We'll use that one. But what I want to do is I want to get another piece of fabric to, uh, scrappy fabric. Let me go ahead and just dirty this up a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and um, put another piece of fabric um, scrap under it. Let me see what I've got here. I've got this nice canvas that's... I've got plenty of this. It's like a... Um... Let me just see what this looks like under it. I like to do a few layers. Okay, let me um, let me rip this and that can go right there. Well, I ripped it a little bit too narrow, didn't I? And, um, that's just a little bit narrower. That's a little bit too narrow. I want it a little wider. Like the this is how I measure. I just just lay it on there. So different than than um, other paper crafting, you know, like card making, uh, where everything I measured everything just perfectly, you know. Okay, so let me let me glue this on there. I'm just going to glue 
the middle and then I'll probably just take it real quick to the machine actually I'm gonna take this little I'm gonna take this little embellishment off and put it back on after so I can sew so I can sew around the word inspire and um, I'm thinking yeah we'll just do those two I was thinking maybe I would back it or put one more layer um, but no well I let that dry for a minute let me see what else I've got for embellishments let's go ahead and um, let me get let me step away for a second I'm gonna get a, a another piece of fabric for a fabric tie I'm gonna make I'm just gonna rip this off so we can do a fabric tie on it here so this will be one side and we will, um, I'll just sew that right on. I'll, I'll glue it and then I'll, I'll sew it later. So there's one. Let me take another piece. About the same width. And this has just been, um, it's coffee dyed muslin. So get some of these strings out of here and I think I'll go ahead and just glue that on each side do I want to glue that on before I sew the book in yeah it doesn't matter it might be easier to do it after I sew the book in but actually I want to make a pocket back here so I guess I better do it now I'm gonna do a pocket on this back cover. I'm not gonna do one on this side because it, you know, it's flipping up, but I will do one here. And we will, um, just tack this down to this side the front side okay all right um let me go ahead and just sew around this word inspire before we tack it down And like I say, talk amongst yourselves. Oops, I just want a straight stitch. No, I got the wrong color. I wanted to do a chocolate brown color. I forgot that I had changed my thread back to an off like a cream color, but well, that'll have to do. Okay. I'm back. Let me just do a little bit more ink just around this. Just to so you can see the edges. Okay, now we'll glue this on. I could have actually sewed it right to the front of the journal now that I'm thinking about it. Could have sewed it right on. But, too late. Maybe I'll come in and stitch it later. Okay, I want a little, like a little applique or embellishment on there. Let me see if I have anything over here. You 
You know what? I think I might grab a button. I have this little brown flower. Let's see what that looks like. Oops. It's kind of cute. Um, let me see what I have for buttons. Let's go this little button jar. If I have anything that looks remotely vintagey. Maybe that. Just kind of. These aren't dark enough. I just wanted some, um, hold on. Let me grab my other appliques. That chocolate brown eyelash trim, I'm gonna, got a bag full of I do have a black. Oh, I kind of like the black. Let's use the black. I like the black, but I want to put something in the center of it. I do have a black button, um, but I really don't want black on black. I just want a button a little bit smaller. I'm digging. Oh, I'll find the right button after. Just don't want to have you watch me hunt for it. I got to I have to pour, pour some of these out. We'll go ahead and put this um this on here. Wait a minute. Do I want to put You know, I've got my big trim jars. Could dig through that and find something. I'm just looking in the side. Got a little black. Got a little black trim down here. Let me pull that out and see. I might use this on a tag. Let's cut this piece off. How would this look if I just did like a little, like a little Ripley? No, that's gonna be too much. I'm gonna use that on the top of a tag. Let me just look at something here for a minute. See if I like the, no, we're just gonna put this and I'm gonna probably put a button a button in the middle of it. Let's put that there for now. I just have to get the right button. Okay. I'll come back and I'll find that button after. Let me put these buttons away. I want like a, a button this color, this deeper color. Is this it? Nope, that's too big. I got one in there somewhere. Okay, now what, what I wanna do is make a pocket for this inside back cover. Now I could use No, I'm gonna have to make something. Let's make a little fabric pocket. Let me 
me pull my pull my stuff out again. Probably that. And I have this. All right, let me cut the bottom of this off. This is just a, um, a duck cloth. And cut, it's like not, not straight, not cut straight. There. Okay, now let me cut. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put this right over the top. But I wanna do this, I wanna um, get some of the threads out. Just kind of fray the edges, you know. I think I can get them and let's go ahead and just just ink up the edges a little bit I thought this was gonna be like this quick short little video but it's like it's a, taking a little longer than I th thought My videos have a tendency to run a little long, I've noticed. I'm just going to go ahead and glue this, this little piece of fabric to the top. Oops. And we'll put a little lace on it. Got this piece of lace left. So that one's a little bit wide. Let me just see if I have a, uh, here. This was it right there in my bin. Not that one, that's too, that's a too roughly. Let me pull this out. Here, I found a piece. That's better. Just glue that to the top of the pocket just for a little interest. Oh, I know what I wanted to put. see no that's so grungy 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 could sew around this before I put it on but I'm not going to I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it up the sides and across the bottom my glue is a little th thick right now. Time for acetone. I leave the lid off too much. Got strings hanging. Okay, so we got a little pocket back here. Um, I think I'm gonna do a little, um, I, I typed up these, uh, little journaling prompt, and I think I'll put one of these on here. Let me see which one do I want. How about relax?
cut that out. See if I can even it up a little bit and I will ink it and I think I'm going to go ahead and put it mounted on a scrap. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> this is this is what I need to do more of. Um I did pull out print out some tag uh, some things to make tags for it isn't that pretty i'm not sure if these are the right going to be the right size yes i measured them ahead of time so i also have these are from a 1906 uh i think it's um what is it? The Delineator Magazine. And um, these are the actual advertisements out of it. 1906. And I thought I may come in and back these on a piece of um, cardstock. And, um, go, and go ahead and cover them with Mod Podge to protect them and use them for tags. I was going to use them in this, but <clears throat> um, I think I'm going to just use these that I printed out, but I thought, because they're a little narrow, but I thought that would be a nice touch for a vintage, you know, a vintage type. Okay, let's ink this. This is a little large. Let me just cut it down just a little bit more. Glue this little, this little guy. Oh, I got glue stuck to everything. Oops. And I want that up here. I always like to do it on an angle. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it right on the pocket. Okay, now we're ready to sew in our papers. I do have a stack. I move some of this stuff out of the way. Of uh, papers ready to go. Just some coffee dyed. Uh, I've got uh, some uh, writing paper, a doily, square doily cut down, piece of printed vellum, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead, whoops, before I do that, I was thinking I might want to, let me just quickly stitch uh, the bottom and then the top right here so that well I think those are pretty well glued on I'm not gonna make you sit through that um, let me grab a couple of clips and since this stack is a little heavier I will sew it in 
hand sew it in instead of machine sew it. Okay, so here's the front. Let me just cut this string. Let's get my papers good in. Let me find the middle. There it is. Tuck it right in there and clip. Let me clip it down a little further and I'll just clip the other side. Just clip in the cover to the little notebook. Okay, let me find my little. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to do one half inch from each side, and I'm just going to mark it with a pencil. Mark it with my pencil. One half. And one half. And then that's two and a half. Right, so one and a quarter should be the middle, actually, right there. All right, let me grab my pokey tool. And trying to do it where you guys can see it. Poke right through the middle, and then I kind of just close the close the little book so I get it right in the. All right. Oh. Let me find my needle. We can use, um, just use, there it is. And I'm going, I'm not going to use the wax linen on this because it's, um, it's not that thick. So I'm just going to use some crochet thread and we'll just do one, two, three that way I know I'll have enough thread three times let me get some of this glue off my fingers I'm covered covered with glue and then I did my nails well probably two or three days ago but I asked because there's acetone in this um Fabri Tac, it takes all the nail polish off, so they're a mess. In through the middle. Outer in, however way you decide to do it. Hold your string. Try not to sp split your threads. And then back through the other side. Whoops. Through that other side, and then I'm just going to tie tie a um, double knot. and cut off the excess. Take off my clips. 
Well, that's a little crooked. That's a little off. I guess I went in a little more, but you've got it. You've got the idea. So then we have our little flippy tablet. Let's go ahead and tie it. Well, let me find a something for the back pocket. I love her. Let me ink this. Make sure this fits. No, this one's a little bit too narrow. Let me see if I want to put, or too wide. Let me see if I want to put it in this one. I like that. I think I'm going to put her on the cover. Some actress. Couldn't tell you who. Who is that? Sure, you guys are telling me through the YouTube who it is, but I can't hear you. Could come in. What I did with this is I just added a little, um, a little brad and uh, a little uh, tie, and I may come in and um, actually I could just use a little uh, a little fabric tab here, and I did a little bulb pin, and then I sewed around the the tag, so that just gives it some interest. Um, so I'll probably come back and do that, add a little something. Okay, so there's that. And then I want one for this side. Probably this one, this image. Just little tags, little room to make a note. Ink it, and then I think she should fit. She looks a little narrower. I might have to trim her down. She's at the piano, a little girl with a little dog singing. It says, songs without words. So cute. Little vintage images. There we go. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna find the perfect button and put a little trim on this and a little trim probably on, well, this one I won't, the one on the inside. And we've made a little flip tab book. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little project. Um, and I will be back. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.